This is Game of Inches. Six teams of anglers across the ice belt compete for five days for a grand prize of $6,000. Eligible species are narrowed down to seven categories of freshwater fish. The total combined length of the seven fish is their final score. Each team records their longest fish in each category. Who will take home the $6,000 at the end of day five? Like I got, had this fish right to the hole, right away, and I was like, what's going on? Day five, we are up bright and early. It is 6.15. Today we are doing pike fishing. Yeah, we got a little problem today. Wind's gusting to 78 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so, wind noise might be a problem, so we're gonna do our best. Uh, hopefully we get a good video for you guys here, but uh, stay tuned here. Next time we turn this on, we're gonna be Pike and bourbon fishing. Pike and bourbon fishing. Okay. We're all set up here. I'm blocking the wind because we got crazy winds. We got a system rolling in. I'm going to show you. We got a system rolling in here. It's supposed to be uh, 70 click, 75 clicks with rain and snow. So we'll see how that is. And since we got heavy winds today and we're running tip ups, we're gonna just, since we got only ice here, I'll show you what we're doing. We just chipped away at the sides of the ice to hold the tip ups from blowing away. And that'll keep them secure. And we're just hanging a smelt on a treble hook here. We're gonna wait. We're gonna go sit there and chill. Hopefully get some pike or bourbon. We got all day here. We brought, brought lounge. We brought lounging chairs. We brought uh, the Eskimo top, so we could get out of the rain and just cuddle up in it. We, we didn't want to bring a, a tent because of the, it's going to be plus five out rain and wind. That tent will probably just rip away. Pegs get kind of watery after a while. So yeah, see what happens. Good luck everybody. It is nine o'clock. We have not got a bite yet. So today might be scenery videos for you guys. We'll go over the bait we're using. Pretty much the same as two episodes ago when we went for pike. We're in the same spot. We gave this spot a day to rest. And hopefully Big Mama comes in. That's gotta be an upgrade. Oh, junker. Upgrade right on the side here. We got the live ball. Closed. We're good? Good, we got it. 
Okay, 37 inch pike. Got a inch and a quarter upgrade, which is something. Good show, good start to our day. Good job, buddy. That's gonna get you warmed up. It's on. giant huge pike this guy's got to go 40 battle scars what a giant all right this is the time we measure this baby come on game of inches that's what this is Closed. Now you got the whole thing. 40 and a half. Mouth closed. 40 and a half. Nice live well we got. We just jumped another three and a half inches there. I'm just gonna hold this fish here. Look at that thick fish. It's got a scar right there. Fish is healthy. So fat, doesn't want to go down. You gotta get his tail in, and when he kicks, he's good. Man, he pushed a lot of water. Woo! Do we go and go for an upgraded burbot? Maybe. We're gonna set, set this flag up and we're gonna see what we do here. Okay guys, we are making the decision and going to upgrade our burbot. Trying to keep this out of the wind here. We upgraded 4.75 inches today. Our burbot's only 28 inches long and we have possible 35s here. And uh, we can even get like, even if we get a 32, that would put us in the lead. We just gotta put inches on the board here. So we're heading out. Heading a new spot and we're gonna cross our fingers and hope. Okay. I am doing some rattlebait fishing for whitefish, burbot, or walleye on the Aquaview. Check this out. We got that set up. Dakota lithium battery with our AquaView. And then we have a recorder going with our Ion battery. All amazing companies. And I do have some carbonated water that I'm going to be cracking here for my afternoon. So if you do like Rebellion beer, you're supporting local. They're a very nice company. They actually hired me to guide them last year. Amazing people. But let's try to get some footage of some fish. I just drilled holes, made a lot of noise here, so we're gonna wait a while, I'm assuming. But I saw a white fish here, so. 
guys, it's happening. We just set up for bourbon. And I got one on here or something. Doesn't feel very big. Little bourbon. Oh, good start. Hey, little guy. We just set up. I look over and the flag's up. Ah, he ate uh, just a chunk of Cisco laying on bottom and then higher up I put a smelt. I got two hooks on. Modified pickle rig, catching burbs. That's definitely not long enough, so I'll get this hook out and get this guy back. Bye bye, little guy. Definitely not the size we want, but it's a good sign that uh, these fish might be moving and hopefully the big ones are feeding. Flag's up again. Come on. Be moving. Yep, it's moving. Doesn't feel big yet. Here it comes. Another burbot. Probably the same one. There's a little burbot. Second one. Let him go. Just a tiny one. I just had a monster white come in and just swipe at me. Oh, it was painful to watch because he missed it. And that was a big white fish. I don't know if you could see my fly down there, but we're in like seven feet of water and we're just uh, jigging some wire worms. Easy. And uh, the fish are feeding today because it's sunny and windy, windy, windy. This morning was, well, terrible conditions for pike, but we smashed a monster. Adam's been fighting this fish. He's got a little wire worm on. There he is. Oh, it's a big white. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, finally. They just put a wire worm on. They've been really skittish, and we've been fishing with them for a bit. I lost a 16 inch here at the hole, so let's go measure this one out and see how he goes. Good job, Adam. Now I'll get a quick measurement of this fish. Oh, yeah, look at that. This mouth closes. There we go, look. 20 inch. So we got to When oh. his mouth's closed and open, it's over 20. Yeah. Good. There it's closed. Yeah. 20 inch, just over 20 inch. We got a quarter inch upgrade. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, this be our fish. We just got that white and the flag just went. Feels good. Okay, good. Come Feels on. Feels good. Come on. Jammed up. Yep. Oh, Put your hand down. Oh my goodness! Get him at him! Oh! Yes! Woo! <laughs> There's an upgrade. And everything's good. Oh How my many goodness! Of these have we caught? <sighs> oh. This could just seal the deal. Look at that tank. There. Heads touching. We gotta go 30 and a half. Right there, 30 and a half. 30 and a half. Sweet. Okay, we just upgraded an inch and a inch and a quarter there. And, and a, the white fish? A quarter, so one inch and a half. So I gotta mark these down. Yeah, I'll just text them to you. Okay guys, we just got that 30 and a half inch burbot right after that white fish. Got some excitement going. Fish are starting to feed. It is, I think it's four o'clock, so we still have three and a half hours remaining. So I'm gonna keep trying to upgrade this whitefish.
feet. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Right now, almost 22. Yeah, 21 and a half. I just want to see if the... 21 right. and a half. Nose touching. 21 and a half. Sweet. Nice. We get them a lot bigger than this, but uh, this is getting a little bigger now, so... We're, We're going to uh, keep this one and smoke this one in the oven. Oh yeah. We are now the leaders in our mind. In our mind, we, we are the leaders. That was our goal today, <laughs> was to take the lead. And we took the lead as we know of. Yeah. Oh, I'm marking a fish right now. As I'm talking, I'm marking a fish. Come on. Seriously, haven't marked a fish for like half an hour. And then I go to do a chat. Anyways, what I was saying is, so nobody's checking in. We don't even know who's going to win. So you guys have to go to the other guys' channels and watch their episode and see how they do. And Adam and I will be doing the same. We had some ups and low ups and downs in this tournament. Started out flipping a couple sleds. I didn't get the footage of that, but made her out to the Laker spot. Got some nice fish. Got out of there. The burbot didn't pan out. And what else did we do? Rainbows. Got the sled stuck. Drove through a snowstorm. That was fun. But uh, all in all, we're here. We're fishing. It's day five. It's the evening. We got the walleye bite coming. We're crossing our fingers that the walleye bites as good as the first night. And hopefully upgrade that walleye. So here we go to do our best. Yeah, I didn't even mark him, he just smacked it. Seven twenty three, so three seven fifty three. All right. hook came out but I still got him. That guy, I wasn't even moving that one. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Like, oh, they're not, they're not going to let me go tonight. Flags up. It's there. Yep. Whoa. Nope. Little guy. Little gaffer. Bye bye, little guy. Go get bigger.
Well, we're coming into the evening bite for walleye and we still have two burbot lines out. Currently, we know we are in the lead. And uh, we just want to take a second to thank our partners, um, Sandy Shores Resort, Shimano, uh, FXR, and the fishing hole. The fishing hole. But yeah, they uh, at the fishing hole they treat us right, and uh, they're just good people, and you support support local too. All right, Adam and I are done. We uh, grinded it right to the end today. I just lost one. I don't know if I got it on video or not. We'll go through the footage. What do you got to say, Adam? Uh, I'm tired. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this crazy adventure we went on and hit all these crazy lakes uh, and every other team. And I hope everyone was safe in this. And yeah, yeah. I think we did this for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and we did our best. So that's all we could say.